Bruce versus Akira Flax. Oh, they're backwards. Hold up. Swap and go. Bro, has K9 been playing Sheik all day? Um, as far as I know, yes. Wow. Dude, that's awesome. I've been I, I saw him play a couple of games and his combo's clean. He knows what he's doing. Oh yeah. He's playing Sheik for the most time, but Akira Flax coming in with the pit. Hitting him with some good multi-hits, but never mind K9. Trying to Marth combo my boy over here. Oh yeah. Couple forward errors. Uh, he's pretty much had that unlocked since four. Then Smash 4, just constant forward errors. Yeah, I can see him trying to pick up the Sheik after the new buffs. Maybe get some better Needle Confirms in, find some kills. But Pure Flax, Ooh, no goodness. slouch with the pit, with the dark pit. I've seen him play this character a couple times. And constantly going for the mix up there, dashing back and forth, going for the side B. But I feel like at this percentage, that wouldn't really... I mean, at this percentage, any, any little bit of damage helps. But like side B is usually for like... Desperation kill. Yeah, or even an Edgar situation. Like <laughs> you can you can run off into uh, into a side B like to confirm a combo, especially if they're off deep. Kierflex finding his way back onto the stage, comes down with a neutral air, does not find anything else. Now they're just spacing each other out, or Kierflex carefully going around him getting that nair to get him off to the stage, and now gets to the ledge trap situation going on. Ooh. Hits him with the arrow from downtown. Now Kierflex backing up. Ooh, comes down with the down B. That was interesting. It like moved him. That's cool. I don't know if he like B reversed that one, but gets a double jab combo. He can do it again. Yep, I saw oh, coming. <laughs> nope, not gonna get it just yet. A couple needles there, just trying to catch on. Uh... Careflex on a cool 76% though. Canine's gonna have to find a way in. Here, just really taking care of the or handling his space really well. Careflex finding a combo. Oh, gets him with a down tilt there. Maybe turns this into something, does not find it. Gets another down tilt though off. Ooh, for the two frame. Ah, oh, he wanted the he wanted the forward smash. Read forward smash, but good on Kierflex to pull back on that one. All right, sorry about that. I had to moderate the chat. Um, the down throw, wanted to go for the back air, but not the right percentage for that. Especially with all that rage too, 135%. Exactly. Oh, get back onto the stage. See, that's another good use for side B. Oh yeah, that's perfect. He's trying to find his way back onto stage now. He's just not wanting to get ledge trapped. Finding center stage again. K9 needs to stop giving this up. 93% to his 139. This is uh, this is quite the lead for Kira. He has no need to approach like that. Oh, no. Exactly. He's, he's still, he still runs around. Finds the aerial, the down air, and... Nah, he's not going to commit to anything too yeah. far. He has the lead. Yeah, he's going to space it out every single time. See again. Rolling in every single time. K9 maybe should dash back a little bit more in the, against this matchup, but Kira playing super safe oh. right now and just gets him with the bouncing fish. Raw. Nasty stuff, but K9 had a cool 112%. Let's see how he can tack on a good amount of damage. It's not like she can't do it. She's really good at putting that rage onto them. As Charlie said, tries to hit him with a downbeat, did not land it. Instead, gets hit with a nair. Hitting him with a couple of needles. Looking for some more tilts, but ends up finding some forward airs. Gets him to 35%. What can we do? Oh, get some of the nair. It's a good little trade. Oh, couple more forwarders. Trying to get the roar backer out of there. Not really going to do it just yet. Ooh, side B. Ooh. See, now I like how K9's playing. He's a little bit more patient, pulling back a little more. Yeah, waiting did. for uh, Kierflex to actually throw out a move because Kierflex is doing a lot of standing. Ooh, gets him with the forwarder. Oh, oh, that was a dash attack? That was dash. That yeah. was a dash attack. That oh was my strong. Goodness. That was strong and fast. Gearflex sending it out real quick. Good spacing by him too as well. A little parry there. Just the opening he needed. And you can see Gearflex trying to space out a lot of his aerials and stuff. He seems to really know how to play around Sheik's hitboxes. Got the nair forward air. Ooh, no, not really going to get much else out of it. Bouncing fish way out there at 108%. Kiraflex just zoning him out, but Kina comes back down with a down air. Now he's got to find a little bit of a combo. Tried to hit him with the Joker special, could not get it. <laughs> Couple of nares there, trying to get dash attack, another dash attack, getting a little bit too greedy here. Cool. Kiraflex really, really, really spacing it out, you know, playing on his, uh, playing on his quote unquote lead. Because he is at a cool 133%, so all Kina has to do is, like, you know, find the kill, but. Why Why even like overextend at this point? Because Kiraflax, he knows that Sheik isn't going to be able to kill the Gary easily. 
He's got a lot of time on the clock, too. Two minutes? Exactly. A lot of time on the clock. But now K9 able to tie it up with that down smash, finding something at, at a cool 86%. Ooh, another nair. No jump here. No Bad jump. situation. No jump. Gonna go for the up B. Oh, Trades it. I think that was a down air. Oh, oh. oh no. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Ends up going a little too close underneath Pokemon Stadium. Find himself a little bit of pineapple. But Kairoflax going up 1 0. Oh. Against K9. Let's see if K9 does a switch or ends up wanting to stay the Sheik. I don't know if he wants to play against this. I can see the wolf coming out. Yeah, I can feel like how K9 feels right not now. Not on Delfino like, Plaza, please. Yeah, he no. doesn't want to be getting spaced out or just like controlled at center stage, but like that. For the most part, Kiraflax is every single time just going to keep spacing it out because he has that disjoint. Hmm. And he's, if he plays in shield and just like safely aerials, like yeah. Kiraflax isn't really going really to be able to find a way in. If he does go wolf, what would be a good choice? Yeah, Kalos, not. Nah. I, I feel like maybe Lucina. Lucina's a good choice as well. Yeah. Lucina would do well on Kalos. Okay, I'm thinking about it. Nice. Mega Man. Oh, no. And I was like locking in. Hero. No. Hero. Terry. Do something. Mies. Do something spicy. Hit that random. Nah, <laughs> he's going to go wolf. No. Ooh. Oh, he yeah. had to look at that. So he was like, I'm, I want to go back to Sheik. And then and, uh, he's like, he's like, nah, I'm not going to do it. Here we go. Game number two. Fear Flax up one game. Let's see how K9 adjusts this time and how he plays around the spacing of Fear Flax. Gets caught immediately with an air and a forward air. And Fear Flax off the stage. Uh oh. Get hit by a couple moves by K9. Ooh, great cross up. Dude, get throw dash attack. Trying to go for the forward tilt. He thought he was going to tech roll inward. Mm -hmm. So he just like threw out the forward tilt like, yeah. in the middle. And he also spaced it too for the tech for the tech in or the or sorry, the tech in place or the miss tech. So the only thing he didn't cover was the tech out, so good on care flex. Noticing that hits oh. him with the nair. This is the tech, hits him with the dash attack. He's gonna come in looking for a nair again. Cannot find him, but ends up trading. He's gonna he's gonna hit him. So good, man. He's gonna hit him with another falling nair and try to go for down smash. I feel. This is like pretty good percent for that to work. Care flex finds the dash attack. Just facing him out, but instead gets him with a down throw into back air. Ooh, but gets back carried himself coming on. Oh. Kierflax getting a little greedy there. I don't know if he had to like go that far out. And you know, Pitt's gonna have a bit of a problem trying to get back into the stage fast enough when he, all he has is the little jumps. His aerial drift, not the best. But lines a grab, hits him with a back throw. Gonna try to hit him with an arrow, but waits out the reflector. K9 gets back onto the stage. Ooh, and gets hit with that. Oh, forward smash, forward smash, forward smash. Here, like, good job evening it up. Now he, he himself is on a lit strap situation. Yep. Oh. Aaron to the forward tilt. Not really going to get it. Just down tilt just for good measure. Okay. Gets him with the grab and back throws him. K9, basically no percent on him. If I was going to find a way in, and there it is. Gets oh. him with the down air into a nair. Ooh, combo city no jump, catches no jump, the no jump. jump. No, oh. okay. Yes, I mean... Realistically, at that at, at that distance, what can you do? Are you gonna try and go out there and challenge Wolf Flash and get spiked? Yeah, like I like, said, Kiraflex's or not Kiraflex, Pit's um, aerial drift is kind of weird. Like it's honestly pretty slow, so it's gonna be difficult Ooh. for him to be able to cover that space, especially with a Wolf Flash. Wolf Flash is a very quick recovery. So I have to find the down smash though. So now both of them at kill percent in game, but K9 finds it with a falling back air. Mm. Kiraflex and Sidney jumping in neutral. Uh oh. With the dash tag, another forwarder, not that safe on shield. Yeah, I guess he didn't release it that much. Exactly, and now he's trying to play out of shield, but K9, good job. Spacing him out, hitting him with a couple forward tilts. Hits him with the forward air. Oh, the side beat. Kiraflax take the stock now, pretty much. Yeah, Kiraflax is looking for it. Oh, ooh, that was nice. Down smash, not gonna catch it too, friend. Ooh, the side B versus the up B. That was pretty good. He like up B'd onto stage. <laughs> he up B'd and then up B. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Not gonna good get it. off me option, but K9 still alive at 164. Here, Fox had a cool 86. Hey. He just literally knew he was gonna walk up and grab and jumped around him. Hits him in the back air. Oh, K9 yeah. taking that one convincingly, though. Yeah, that was, that was pretty convincing. Completely different story from Ashik. Gotta bring his ink game versus Kira. Exactly, Kiraflex not messing around. It's not like they, these guys haven't played each other a million times. Oh, yeah. I mean? Yeah. So he knows. If anything, Kiraflex knows, like, K9's habits. K9 knowing Kiraflex's habits, so. 
Both of them are going to say the same thing, but Kira instead going to want to take him to FD. Javi, what do you think about the stage uh, pick? FD, and Kira. I can, I can see it just because I, I think this time around he's just going to play a lot of disjoint heavy. Yeah, what was interesting to me was that he was just on Kalos, which is basically the same thing except for that annoying platform for uh, Edge Gardner. Yeah. So, went for the back row, just, oh man, K9 just running him up. He can't land. Just, where are you going to go? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, Kit has a very slow aerial grip, so it's going to be oh, kind of difficult. But if Kier flags, uh -oh. oh man. Where are you going? He's living though, but. Looks like he was looking for something. Pretty Ooh. spicy there. Hits him with an air. Oh no, Catch, jumping out of shield, but instead gets grabbed for it. His back row. In the upper, where's he gonna go? Quick little short hop, falls out of the up smash. Mm. Falls out of it, that first couple hits. Oh, that was pretty, that was pretty good. He called out, called out the side B. Short hop there, trying to get forward, so not really gonna do much. K9 finding a lot of stuff here. Forward into the back here, not gonna do it. Once again, just missing. Looking for it again. He's going a little too oh high up goodness. here. He's gonna have to full hop that one if he wants to land that forward air into that back here. But hits him with the nair, get a wolf flash back on. Oh, the dash attack too frames it. Oh yeah. That has reaches that it. That's a crazy good move. Ooh. Way, way, out the way back to the ledge. There's another Nair. Yeah, it's a tricky little movement. The kind of aerial movement you're going to need when playing on FD. But great DI by K9 living that one. Another up yeah, it does it again. Yeah. It's see, he just so gets back unorthodox. Hard. Exactly. You don't see it coming, especially. Oh, oh two frame. frame. Frame again, man. K9 great at covering this ledge right now. Oh, but the Careflex is doing the same. <laughs> Ends up down smashing the ledge for a cool little two frame. Himself, maybe finding a little bit of life here. He gets dash attacked. Uh oh. Nope. Gura physically shaking his head. Just, he wanted something more out of that, but it's it like the frame data was just not going to allow him to do it. Right. And you can see Kira Flax struggling here in neutral now because. I don't know, man. Some of Wolf's frame stuff is pretty good. <laughs> it's very safe moves, moves you know what I mean? Oh, looking for the wolf flash. Oh, yeah. Expecting a jump out of shield or something. He has Maybe been jumping a lot neutral, so. Yeah. And now he's keeping it grounded, just kind of dashing back and forth, just trying to catch him doing something silly. Exactly. I'm assuming that's what he wanted coming Ooh. here to FD and ends up finding the edge guard. A lot of life here for Kira Flags. Completely doable. Just at a cool 93%, but he has to play neutral perfectly. Oh, oh man. I knew what he wanted. He just ended up not going for it. He hesitated. He hesitated yeah. just, just the tiniest amount. Exactly, now Kierflex is going to pay for it. He's going to get hit by a laser, hopefully not. Oh, oh falls out of that one again. Oh, yeah. Falls out again. <laughs> it's interesting. I feel like he's just like uh, kind of tipping, like tipping him with his foot, like while he's up there in the air. And oh, no. oh what? Okay, I don't know about that one. I can't explain that. I don't yeah, know what's I, going on anymore. <laughs> he's just catching him and he's falling out of these up smashes. Is there some crazy SDI going on? I know. I don't, I, I don't think so. <laughs> oh. In the Twilight Zone where up smash don't work? I know. Hits him with a dash attack ends up taking him out. But that was like a cool three up smashes that he just ended up not getting actually scooped by. <laughs> if he was any other character, I promise you would have got scooped. I know. Uh, well, the, f the first two times that happened is kind of, it, it's understandable. Cause he's yeah, in because he's in the air. Yeah, yeah he was, he was, was like a touch but of hip Right there, he was right in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> and he just went, Boing. And it actually just didn't suck him in for once, which normally Wolf does. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't even know. Some mad SDI going on. I know. <laughs> All right, let me see. Game. Had to be what would happen, but. So I had to go Kira right Flax, thinking, you know what? I could have taken that. I'm going to take him straight back to FD. Oh as long as he can play this neutral, it's pretty good. Yeah, just have to rethink his strategy, get him there into the dash attack. Exactly. If we can keep him into a disadvantage uh -oh. state for the exact reason that Kira Flax chose this stage, then they can totally do it. He can totally do it. There you go. I feel like. I feel like something that Kira's doing is like he's, just, he's overextending a little bit too much. Like, see yeah, like that, like I, I agree. He does he does overextend a little bit at the ledge. He, he got that down air, and then he had no reason to go for the backer, but he went for it anyway, and then gave then gave um, Kana and all that Kana the stage back and yeah. put himself in the ledge trap position, which is not not really really good. But I can tell he's going for the early kills on Wolf, which is something that a lot of people do go for, especially when they have a destroy. Porter getting a little bit too antsy. You have all the lead in the world. You don't have to go and dash attack like that. Exactly. But comes back in with a forward air. 
Tries to follow up with an arrow. Now, this is where we have to play a little bit of safe here. Oh. That was good. That was really good by K9. Yeah, just waited it out. Now he's got all this stage yeah. to work with. He could just dash away whenever he feels. He oh, dodged yeah. all of the ledge trap options, and now K9 in his own ledge trap situation. Barely <laughs> missing that nair, dude. His foot kissed his face. Oh! oh. The floats around him for the back air. Paraflax with the first lead. 30%. One quick up smash can do it, but if a history repeats itself, up smash might, might not be enough. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ends up working out that time. No BS uh, SDI yep. gets out of first hit anymore. Yeah. Oop, quarter? No, not going to get it. Yeah, can I come down with the forward air? If I can find anything else though. Now just resetting neutral. This is smart from both of them. Especially for K9 though. Because sure. he's not getting too desperate, even though he knows he's like in a deficit, in a slight deficit. Kierflex controlling the stage now. Exactly what he wanted. Get the parry off. Oh, he didn't do much of anything. Short hop Nair, another arrow coming into play. Oh, this player just going for grabs. Back air? Back air? No, not too good. Exactly, and K9 had a cool 98%. Okay. Quarter? Okay. Now he's in the driver's seat himself. Let's see if he's able to find anything here. Gonna keep him up there in disadvantage. Yep. Just gonna wait for all the little hops Fearflex has. Ooh, gets the two frame again. Ooh. Oh my, it misses the tech. Good stuff on K9. He kind of like fainted that he was gonna go for it, and then ended up just coming back up with an air facing, facing the stage. Take a little side B, gonna force him off to the ledge and see what the play is here. Oh, once again, overcommitted a little bit too much to that jump. Does anybody know, do you, do you know the name of uh, Pit Side B? Man. I feel like I've, I've known it before. I don't remember what it was. He says, like, something shock. Oh, electro shock? Electro shock? It's not like, electro shock. Is it not? No. But what's, what is it? It sounds like hydro shock? You think so? <laughs> There's no way. Like, oh, it's. Oh, it's called. It sounds like hydro when he says it. You think so? But that's only. But I never like played enough dark pit to like actually do it enough to. Hear. I think he says electro shock. I yeah. think he says electric. I'm not sure. Because all I hear is O shock, and then I'm like, <laughs> okay. My 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 brain says hydro, uh -huh. but it's like I'm pretty sure it's electro. I just kind of ignore <laughs> everything else. Well, we're gonna figure this out it's today. Electro shock. Hopefully, if Kiraflax is able to get this edge guard off, it's it's electro shock. Electro shock. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. All I hear is O shock. O shock. O shock. O shock. And, and then it's like, I don't know. I don't know why my brain just says hydro. Like my, br <laughs> my brain just immediately goes to hydro. There's like a lot of water coming out of that move. <laughs> it's like I, I don't know. My, my brain just automatically just goes to hydro. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. catches it. Oh man, he went for the he, he went for it. the sauce on him. If he landed that, that would have been perfect. But now K9 in his own position, he might end up regretting this decision. See if he finds his way back on. Kierflax is actually able to dodge the upbeat that time. Ooh, gets him with the forward tilt. Now K9 in his own position, but Kierflax is waiting it out. Ends up spacing out the back air. Gets him with another back air. K9 got to stop landing so dangerously behind him. You know what he can do? He can just fire the arrow. He's know the reflector's coming. He can just activate his own reflector. Oh, that's true. You can go back. It just kind of... Will it, will it ping pong? Or will it just dilute? I don't know if it'll break the shields. Just with the down throw? But I mean, it's, a, it's an option. You can man, Wolf there. Out. So good, man. You saw how long that hitbox oh lasted and barely passed so him. Ooh, hits him with a down throw. Can't have his own little position and will gladly sit here and wait for Kierflax to make oh. a bad move. Gets him with the fourth, he's gonna down throw again. 162% okay. on Kierflax, still any man's game, but K9 in a great position. Oh. Gets him with the frame, or with the two frame. That's gonna do it. Four tilt. That's gonna do it for K9. Three one one out from K9. Let me fill in the scores here. Yeah, three one from K9. Very cleanly played after he switched off the Sheik. K9 ended up being able to just space stuff out, you know, create and control the stage for what it was, using a lot of like the good frame stuff from Wolf. Alright, let's see. Let me do a thing here. 